sleeping disorders overrated or underrated so i think they're underrated because people mm -hmm. aren't really getting diagnosed as in at the rate at which they should if you think about it and you just looked at for example sleep apnea and men in the united states what you would learn is somewhere between 12 and 18 percent of men have sleep apnea that's like one in five guys okay that's a lot of people there's 350 million people in the united states so we're looking at i don't know maybe 70 75 million people with sleep apnea only about eight percent of that has been diagnosed so there's a lot of work that still needs to be done for diagnosing sleep apnea and that's just one of the sleep disorders second big one insomnia right roughly 10 percent of the entire population has chronic insomnia with 30 percent being on occasion so we've got roughly over 100 million people who occasionally don't sleep well and about 35 million people that don't sleep well every night dude this is a problem um, and it's not getting much, much better. On the apnea side of things, we're starting to see society get bigger and bigger from a weight perspective. And we know that while physical weight isn't the only factor that increases sleep apnea, there is absolutely a connection between them. And the heavier people are, usually the, uh, the more severe that sleep apnea is. So we have an entire society now that, by the way, 75% of is overweight and 50% is obese. If you think sleep apnea isn't going to go through the roof, you are sadly mistaken. Um, on the insomnia side, can you think of a time that's ever been more stressful than now? Because I can't, yeah. right? I'm 56 yeah. years old and I've never seen the divisiveness of what we see in society today. You can't talk about politics. You can't talk about almost anything. You can't talk about how you feel about something. Maybe you're afraid you're going to be canceled because you don't even know better to say something wrong. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. The stress, dude, is unbelievable. The number one thing that fuels insomnia, stress. So I think that sleep disorders are underrated from the standpoint of, I think people aren't getting diagnosed because everybody seems to have one. It's almost like a normalization. Like It's like when I talk to new parents and I say, how are you sleeping? And they all start to laugh. Like, ha, sleep, what are you talking about? I have a new baby, no new parent sleeps. Not true. Um, there are plenty of new parents that sleep well when they get their kid on a sleep schedule. So it's like people are starting to think, I'm just supposed to be exhausted. And in fact, you're not supposed to be exhausted. That is not why you were put on this earth uh, and placed into society, right? Um, it, it's about having joy and it's about leading happy lives and it's about being healthy. And all of that is very possible. But so many people are like, uh, I don't know if I want to get a diagnosis, right? Then I've got a whole thing I got to go through. And to be fair, on the insomnia side of things, people don't want to take prescription pills. And most doctors, that's all they have to offer. So it, it's not a great situation for a patient to be in right now because sometimes it's hard to get diagnosed, oddly enough. So we're in a really interesting spot. I will tell you that since COVID, it has gotten much, much easier to get a sleep study done now. Um, historically, you would have to go to your GP. They would send you to a specialist. The specialist would send you to their lab. You'd spend the night in the hospital. You'd come back and get those results. Then you'd go back for a second night, then come back and get those results, and then maybe get some treatment. Almost all of that is gone now. Hmm. We have disposable units. It, they come in a box about, I don't know, maybe this big. And um, you, you put it on your wrist, and you put a little thing that clamps to your finger. That's the whole unit. You wake up, you push the button on, you wake up the next day, it sends the data to your phone. Oh, you take wow. the unit itself and you throw it away. Bro, you throw it away like it's wow. crazy, right? And all of a sudden, you've got all this data. They do have a, a, a way that you can send it back to the company so it gets reused. So if you don't want to throw it away, that's cool too. But it's like it, it completely leveled the playing field. Anybody can get a sleep study done now. 